Welcome to the project. Today's project is LED lights on the ceiling. Except these aren't just ordinary LED strips. These are the individually addressable WS2812B LED strips, meaning that I can program them to whatever color and animation I choose. And by integrating these LEDs with the Google Assistant, I can control the animations with just my voice to fit whatever situation I'd like. Hey Google, turn on the game room. Hey Google, turn on firework mode. So to get started, I needed to first calculate how many LED strips I would need to buy. This room measured 16 by 19 feet, plus I needed to add the little hallway. Since they sell the strips in lengths of 16 feet, I calculated I would need to buy 5 LED strips and then splice them together. I got them on eBay since that's the place with the best deal on these. After I received them, my first thought was to test them out before installing. The ideal situation would have been if I could connect them all in one line and go all the way around the room, but I knew with how long that would add up to be, I would definitely either have a signal integrity issue or the LEDs would become weak toward the end because of the voltage drop through the strip. You can see here that that was the case with the voltage drop causing the LEDs at the end to become reddish in color rather than white. For those curious, the reason for this is because the blue and green LEDs have a higher forward voltage than red LEDs. So the voltage dropped to the point where the blue and green colors were no longer lighting bright enough. Since I did not want to deal with power injection and trying to figure out how to hide extra wires, I came up with an alternative solution to instead split the LED strips in two directions from the source. Instead of wrapping around the whole room, I would wrap half to the right and half to the left. This created a bit of difficulty on the software side of this project because I now had to communicate from two I.O. pins on the ESP8266 to make this work. But after a couple hours of research and testing, I figured out how to make it work this way. Now that I had performed enough testing to confirm my idea can work, I felt comfortable with moving on with the installation. One of my concerns with the installation was figuring out the best way to attach the LED strips to the ceiling. The sticky glue that comes on the back of the strips does not work well with the textured surface, and I did not want to have these start falling down a few days after putting them up. So I decided to use a staple gun. The way I did the installation was putting up one strip at a time on the ceiling, and as I got to the end of each strip, I had a setup on the ladder where I would cut the plug headers off, solder the next strip, and then use electrical tape over the connection. The electrical tape was meant to simply hold the strips in place while I solder, but I ended up wrapping the connection with the thought of giving it a bit more strength. Next time though, I should have used white electrical tape so it wouldn't be as visible. I attached the power connections and ESP8266 microcontroller to the back of my LED clock build, since it provided a good route to hide the wires. In my Arduino sketch, I used the fast LED library for programming my custom animations, and I used Cinework Pro with IFTTT for Wi-Fi enabled control through the Google Home Assistant. Now here's some footage of the animations I've programmed so far. So that is this project done for now. There are many more animations that can be added to make this customized for any room. I hope this project was inspiring and informative. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment with your thoughts on this project and subscribe for more projects like this one.